Chikambi Foje anxiously awaits his turn to hit the court. It was only five years ago that he picked up a racket for the first time. He doesn't own tennis shoes, but his feet made the sun backed clay court. And he doesn't mind. After all, not every day will he get the chance to play at the center court here. I want first become a local player here, go on, and later become a national player in some other countries. Paul J is just one of the many young players involved in Uganda's local tennis development programs. Over 200 players come here every weekend to try to improve their skills. But officials say the lack of tournaments hinders the involvement of players. It's going to be a little bit difficult if we don't really uh, put in much effort in uh, organizing events that can uh, you know, motivate players and as well as uh, uh, recruiting new junior players. Uganda is limited to hosting local championships and very few locals have won. But that could all be about to change. The local association hopes to take the sport to schools and communities. Our objective will be like we want to go right up to the public, not only to the clubs but also uh, deep in the other people call them the ghettos, but we call them a community. For now, this East African nation may produce more players like Full J, who asked his latest game. Uganda's biggest success on the tennis court is a bronze medal at the All Africa Games. But with several young players coming through the ranks, there's much hope for even more success in the future. Leon Senyange, CCTV. Kampala.